Hey there, it's Avi, and in today's video I'm going to explain what a strings.xml file is, how to deal with localization in Android. For this project, I'm using my unit measure app. Right now, I'm not going to show you the code except for a small bit so you can see how the XML integrates with Java or Kotlin. I right, know these are all the strings in the app. Uh, it's about let's say 400 lines there's spaces and there's comments also and this is how you comment you could hold the controller the command and then the, the dash or slash and then it creates a comment it's basically a caret exclamation point and then two dashes and then you close it and then you create text in between and this is what a string looks like. It's a string of text. In Java, it's a familiar term. If you're not a programmer, the name is a key which you will then use to call it. No matter what the language is, the keys will be the same. And then this is the text in English. Uh, let me show you an example. If a key is not relevant to be in any other language or it's something that the system uses, you should set translatable equals to false, and then you don't have to set another one. And now Android Studio has built in some uh, decent tools. They're not the best, but they do help. You click Open Editor. And then let's say if I want to add it to another languages, another language, let's say. Let's add a key. You could hit the word, add locale. And let's set it to Portuguese. Release in Portuguese, for example, and what is read is anything that's not been translated over except for the translatable equals false. And now you could go into the project structure and then you go into values. And now you see two strings files one's the English one, one's the Portu Portuguese one. The app name also doesn't usually change, so they kept it automatically. If you go to projects, res. And then you see Portuguese Bel Brazilian Portuguese has its own files so that you could also put strings and then you could put custom activities and you could change uh, animation styles, colors, basically whatever you want just for this language or this locale. Uh, I don't, since I don't speak Portuguese, I can't really add something, but for example, let's take a uh, this and now we just copy it here and then we change it to something in Portuguese let's say and then once all the strings are translated that could be then you could run the app and have a test between the languages you just turn your phone to another language or you could set it with in a config configuration file since I'm using app bundles it basically only sends to the version the, of the language they have in your phone. If you switch language versions, then it usually downloads it through Google Play after. And let's go, for example, have a dialogue that occasionally puts a rating up. Here, I said the context.getString, and then here's the string I use. So no matter what language, it'll work that way. I've been going through my app and I've been changing everything to be this way instead of hard coding a, a file like. Code like this. This would be hard coding. And in Android, they prefer you to use the strings.xml file, so you have one centralized place to change everything, and also for localization purposes. And uh, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.